welcome back to another makeup tutorial. My name is Sandra and if you are new, welcome to my channel. For today's makeup look, I went ahead and created this soft glam using the Anastasia Soft Glam Palette. Get it? <laughs> so I also used the Anastasia Beverly Hills and Amrezy Highlighter which came out on Valentine's Day and I actually did purchase it a few days after but I just hadn't gotten a chance to really review it and make a YouTube video using this. I also tried out the Amrezy and Anastasia um, highlighter and it is literally the bomb.com. I've been using this for maybe a couple weeks now and it is literally my go-to. The highlight is not super intense and in your face but it still gives you the amount of glow that you want. So if you guys want to see how I created this makeup look, let's go ahead and jump into the tutorial. So to make this video a little bit quicker, I did go ahead and do my brows off of camera. All I used was the Milani Dip Brow in dark brown and I just did the brows. Next, I'm gonna go ahead and use my Coconut Rose Water from Pearl Essence. It looks like this and I'm just gonna go ahead and spray my face. So for today's look, I am gonna be using the Anastasia Soft Glam palette it is right here and I'm just gonna go ahead and start off doing my eye makeup and then we're gonna go ahead and move on to the rest of the face so for my transition shade I'm gonna start with the color orange soda which is this one right here and I'm just gonna grab it on a big, big fluffy brush and I'm just gonna apply that all over my lid Make sure to drag it out a little bit just because we are wanting to accentuate the eye and just kind of make it a little bit of a cat eye so just make sure you drag it over okay and then I'm gonna go ahead and clean my brush using the Mikasa brush cleaner and we're gonna be using the same brush to apply the next color so next we're gonna go ahead and apply burnt orange which is this one right here in the palette and we're just gonna apply it over the transition shade just to kind of deepen up that crease. the Mikasa E320 brush. It's just a tapered blending brush. I'm gonna go ahead and pick up Sienna, which is this one in the palette right here. And I'm just gonna go ahead and place that just a little bit under those two colors on my crease. I really mean a lot to me. This will give it a little bit more dimension onto the eye. And then to blend out any harsh edges, I'm just gonna go back in with orange soda and my M533 Morphe brush. And I'm just gonna start softening up the upper part of the lid just to give us that nice blended look. about doing your eye makeup first before you do your face makeup is that you can be as messy as you want and you can always clean it off without having to ruin your foundation so usually when I do like smoky eyes or any um, any look that might have shadows that are a little bit more that have a little bit more fallout I like to do my face less lid shade I am gonna be using the color sultry in the palette which is this one right here it is just a pretty shimmery um, metallic maroon brown color <laughs> it's my best description for it so I'm gonna be taking that color all over my lid and I'm gonna be using my Luxie 249 brush I'm gonna be using this side of the brush and I'm just gonna place that on the lid that color so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and spray my brush with my coconut water and I'm just gonna go ahead and give it a little spray that way we can intensify the pigment and then I'm just gonna go ahead and go back in one more time with that color on my lid yes bitch this looks way better 
And then going back in with my Morphe M533 brush, whatever is left over on the brush, I'm just gonna go ahead and use that. And I'm just gonna clean that up to make sure again we don't have any harsh edges. For my wing liner, I'm gonna be using the Milani Eye Tech Extreme Liquid Eyeliner. This is my favorite liner to do my eyes just because it's so easy to work with and I just love that it's a matte finish and it's a felt tip. So if you guys are looking, make sure you guys skip this Okay, one so now that we did our eyeliner, I'm gonna go ahead and move on to the rest of the face and then come back to the eyes and finish those off. So what I'm gonna go ahead and do is I'm gonna go ahead and prime the face. I already sprayed it, so we're gonna go ahead and spray it one more time just cause I'm obsessed with doing that. And I am gonna be using two primers, this one and this one by Milani. I like using the Too Faced Hangover RX just because it keeps me matte throughout the day. And then I like using the Milani Prime and Shield because it is um, for my pores. So it actually fills them in and it makes my complexion a lot smoother. So I'm gonna go ahead and apply both of these babies onto the T-zone. And then this, I just apply it on my cheek area, just in here. Today, I am going to be using the Maybelline Fit Me Matte and Poreless, which is my go-to. I love using this foundation a lot, and it is in the it is in the shade Sun Beige 310. So I'm going to go ahead and just dot this all over my face and then we'll blend it out with the beauty blender. Lemon Drop Beauty Sponge from Mikasa. I'm gonna go ahead and start blending this into the skin. I that last weekend and when I am in the sun, I do tend to get a lot more freckles on my face. So because we wanna keep our face looking nice and youthful what i'm going to do is i'm just going to apply a thin layer of foundation nothing full coverage so that we can still have our skin peeking through our foundation and then if i do have any um, blemish areas i'll just apply concealer and spot treat those areas and to brighten up our complexion as well. We're gonna be using the Tarte Shape Tape. I am in the shade Light Medium. I'm just gonna go ahead and apply a little bit of this because it is really full coverage and I don't wanna be too intense, you know what I'm saying? concealer right away what I'll do is I'll go ahead and do my contour and then when I'm gonna set everything then I'll go back in with the beauty sponge and I start to just make sure there's no creases under the eyes I don't know it's just how I like to do things so for our contour today I am gonna be using the Stila contour palette it looks like this and it just has the two shades in here so it has this deeper brown and then this tanner brown I like going in with this one first just to kind of warm up the complexion and then this one to really contour and define my cheeks so I'm gonna go ahead and grab that on a concealer brush and then we're gonna go ahead and blend that out Dome brush, I'm just gonna go ahead and spray it just to make it easier to blend it out on my face. And then I'm gonna go ahead and start 
blending that onto the skin. Going back into the palette and I'm taking this darker color. I'm just gonna go ahead and apply a little bit of this onto the cheek area and then same areas where we went ahead and placed the other color, just a lot lighter so that it is not too crazy. going in with the airspun loose face powder I love using this one because it is a affordable to it doesn't have any flashback at least for me it doesn't and it's just a nice fine powder so I'm just gonna go ahead and grab my Kat Von D shade and light brush it looks like this and I'm gonna be using the dome side and I'm just gonna be picking it up from inside of the container and then just and I'm just gonna place it right underneath their eyes contour I am gonna bronze using two bronzers um, I like using this one it is the Lisa Frank bronzer I am almost hitting pan and I think I'm gonna get the actual size because this one also came in my ipsy bag I mean seriously like ipsy is the shit but anyways I'm gonna go ahead and contour using this deeper color and then I'm gonna add a different one over top give myself a little bit more warmth and a little bit of a glow I'm gonna go in with the revolution vivid baked bronzer this is in a rock on world and it's just a little bit more um, shimmery and golden so I just like to take a little bit on a bigger brush and then just kind of dusting that on the area where we contoured just to give us a little bit more color So my camera did shut off so in the meantime while I was charging it back up I went ahead and did my mascara so what I did is I used the lash sensational and I paired it with the Maybelline total temptation I've been dying with this mascara it literally gives you nice full voluminous lashes without clumping them up so if you guys already know I don't do the whole falsy things I just it's not for me <laughs> so um, I just paired these two together and did my lashes so we're gonna go ahead and move on to the rest of the eye using the little brush that came up with the palette I'm gonna go ahead and highlight my brow bone um, I'm gonna be taking the color tempera which is this just white matte, matte shade in the palette right here and I'm just gonna be applying that um, right underneath the brow bone just to give it a little definition you don't want to have that area just looking flat and it just makes your brows look bomb so hit that brow bone with a matte shade And then flipping it over to the fluffy side, I'm just going to go ahead and blend that in. On a, a smaller brush, I'm going to be taking the color bronzed, which is this gold color right here in the palette. And I'm just going to go ahead and apply this on the inner corners of my eyes just to kind of, you know, add a little bit more fun color to it. my 
favorite brown liner with from Tarte in bronze. I'm just gonna go ahead and add a little bit of this onto the waterline. The rest of the face I'm gonna go ahead and do blush for blush I want to keep it nice and nude still just because our eyes are more on the intense side so what I'm doing is I'm gonna be taking the shade luminoso by Milani it is a baked blush I'm just taking it on a flat angled brush and then I'm just gonna place that on the apples of my cheeks I love these blushes because it just gives you like a natural radiant glow so if you ever forget to do your highlight, you can rely on these to give you at least a little bit of sheen, but girl, you better not do that. So make sure we are always highlighted. today I'm very excited because I actually have been using this highlighter since it came out but I just haven't gotten a chance to really do a review or a tutorial with it but it is the Anastasia and Amrezy um, highlighter and it looks just like this it is gorgeous and it goes with literally almost any um, skin tone I've tried it on friends already and they're lighter than I am and it still looks very beautiful so I'm gonna go ahead and hit my high points with this highlight today I am keeping it nude because I just want this look to be wearable and kind of basic <laughs> so I'm gonna go in with my Milani color statement lip liner this is in the shade spice I'm gonna go ahead and outline my lips and then I'm gonna go ahead and follow them in with my liquid lipstick Today I am going to be doing a combo. I'm going to be going in with the Anastasia Beverly Hills Ashton Liquid Lipstick. It looks like this. And then I'm going to be applying a little bit of the um, Rimmel Stay Matte Liquid Lip Color. This is in the shade Mocha. And I'm just going to apply a little bit of this on the center of the pout. go in with my Maybelline brow precise and I'm just gonna go ahead and set my brows because I always wait till the last step after applying all my powders to set my brows and last but not least we're gonna go ahead and set our face I'm gonna go back in with the pearl essence coconut rust rose water and I'm just gonna go ahead and set my makeup This sums up the makeup look so if you guys have not subscribed yet make sure you guys hit that subscribe button and like this video help a girl out I will see you guys next week with another makeup tutorial